Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. This is your girl, some touch boy, Shella Carolina. And, um, rest in peace, Cupcake. Let's get it. Tonight, family and friends gathering to say goodbye to three-year-old Camille Cupcake McKinney. Hi, everyone. Thanks for staying up with us on your Sunday evening. I'm Michael Clark. In an emotional homegoing service today, many neighbors from Birmingham and beyond came out to pay respects. Reporter Jesslyn Adams joins us with the details. Jesslyn. Throughout the service, there was praise and worship mixed with sadness. It's evident that many are still mourning Camille Cupcake McKinney's death. Her family, along with thousands from across Birmingham, the state, even the nation, chose to celebrate her life and remember her joyous spirit. An abundance of love, support, and tears for three-year-old Camille Cupcake McKinney, the child whose life was taken too soon. Her uncle, Steve Long, says it best during his time at the podium. Today is her home boy. It was supposed to be hectic. That's what she wants. And even though it may be sad here for us, here, not having her here, needing her here, God has gained the angel. He's King God. New Beginning Christian Church built to capacity Sunday afternoon with thousands mourning the loss, yet rejoicing over Cupcake's short, impactful life. Ed Fields, speaking on behalf of Mayor Randall Woodfin, remembers her as the child who united a city. Our mayor said the best that we are all. Camille's family. That's fully represented by the people that are here, but there are people around the world right now that are, are with you from the Roman Those so five words, we are all Camille's family. It's represented by the outpouring of love and support from the city and the country. Let's just say that this cupcake has sweetened the hearts and the tongues of the nation at the time when we need it most. Cupcake's impact on the community, visible by the sea of purple flowers, balloons, and ribbons inside the sanctuary, prayers, singing, and a poem from her aunt, Jasmine Smith. You know, our hearts are broken, and your life was too short. We thank you, sweetest angel, for the happiness you brought. Honoring the happiness Cupcake brought to her family, the service comes to a close. The sound of a trumpet playing has got the whole world in his hands. A white horse-drawn carriage led the processional to Elmwood Cemetery, where Camille was laid to rest. In studio, Jesslyn Adams, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count. Rest in peace, Kelkey. Rest in peace, baby.